Hello and welcome to Malazar's Inscrutable Tower, Thief 2 fan mission by Nekt. Before we jump in, I'll read the briefing. I was enjoying a quiet drink at the crippled barrack when a commotion outside sobered me up fast. At first I thought the watch were there and forced to arrest me, but as I quickly slipped out the back I realised there was a fight going on that had nothing to do with me. I watched from the shadows and saw that the watch had finally caught up to the sorcerer Malazar. He put up a good fight, turning several of the watchmen into oily smears on the pavement before they overwhelmed him. His magic might have been impressive, but he was only human after all, and the heft of a blade did for him just like anyone else. Before the watch hauled the body off, I slipped through unseen and relieved him of the key to his tower. Malazar's tower has long been infamous among those in my profession for the huge power crystal, the source of his arcane power, that floats above the tower's balcony, visible to any who approach. In the past, no one has ever managed to steal it and live to tell the tale. Now that the sorcerer is dead, it should be a trivial task to climb the tower and nab the gem. It's got to be worth a fortune, quite apart from any magical properties it may possess. Sounds like we should steal it then. It's even here in the picture. Uh, I did not check the readme as to what the difference is in difficulties, so I'm going to sit normal just here and see what it says here. No difference, apparently. Alright, we'll play on hard, following my usual, uh... Well, it doesn't have a don't kill anyone objective. Hmm. And it is a puzzle-oriented one. Maybe I should do expert. Let's try expert. Let's see how we go. Break into the tower of the late sorcerer Malazar. Steal Malazar's crystal of power from where it floats conspicuously above the tower balcony. Once you have the power crystal, leave the tower and return to the city via the forest road. Sounds straightforward. Sounds... Very easy. Getting to the tower seems pretty straightforward. Just walk. Straight line. There it is. Crystal. That looks pretty big. I wonder if I can actually fit that in my uh, breaches. Could do with some repairs. Oh, it's got a little path. Not missing anything here, are we? Wouldn't appear to be so. Wow, oh, this is probably the easiest mission in the history of Thief. Just like walk up here, climb up another few flights of stairs, go up there, grab the. Uh, Oh, it's locked. Well, okay, second easiest. There we are. It's not... Does it count as breaking in if you, uh... If you use the key? I don't know. Well, anyway, up the stairs. The objectives, what? This tower is bigger on the inside than on the outside, and some kind of magical trap has destroyed your weapons and equipment. Try to at least find a bow and arrow. Did they just disappear? Okay. Um, since this place is larger than you were expecting, you might be able to find some additional treasure. Steal at least 3,200 loot. Okay. Leave the tower once you have what you came for. So this, that I guess is where... Uh, The um, difficulty. <laughs> We're not going to back out the way we can. I guess where the difficulty uh, comes in is probably affects the loot goal. It might affect the puzzles. All right. So now everything I know about this level is is exhausted. I knew that it had this bigger on the inside than the outside. And to be honest, it doesn't obviously look it from here. But I suppose once you look at doorways and stuff. That's very cool. I like that. Oh, there's a key hidden in there. They say I like the stacks of wood, but there's a library key. Alright, that's convenient. I stopped to admire the, uh, 
the detailed, you know, brushwork, which is... Well, the engine doesn't make it easy to do details. There's a lot of details here. Ah, oh, that's the lights, okay. Should probably be careful about just pulling levers. Why do we need a library key? This looks like a library. Probably be careful about just pulling random levers because, um... Who knows whether they might... Few more traps in here. It's a little weird that oh, some magical trap has destroyed all your stuff. It's like, mm, okay, you know, I haven't even noticed it gone yet. But fine. Oh, there is a lot more out there than I would have predicted. Okay, that door's locked. We've got a fireplace. Oh, there's a ladder in the fireplace, okay. Ah ha ha, we have a Utah teapot. Nice. So I guess I will get it and just run my compass. What am I seeing at the end of the hallway there? Oh, broom. I guess I don't know where I'm going. Can I climb up here without getting hurt? I can, but there's a grill. Won't be going any higher. All right. Ow! It's warm. So this is the library, I suppose. Oh, hello. Some loot. This is not the library. All right. Good to know. Noisy tile, but I don't hear any enemies around, so I'm not going to be worried about being too obsessive about noise. I also said that, and then probably enemies are going to start appearing right away. Okay, the broom won't let me... Oh, hello. There's a figure there. Oh, maybe it's just a... Maybe it's just a statue. Broom won't... The broom won't let me go through that way. Okay. I really don't have much, do I? No. No equipment at all. Oh, there's doors here. Michael, the runic power word on the seventh floor of the library is playing havoc with the translocation embers. If you need a book from the R or S stacks, you will need to go the long way around. I would advise a spell of water breathing. As always, the ninth floor is off limits. I guess we found the library then. Let's go let's check out this room first. It's extremely dark in here. Okay. There's something up there. It's like a cog lock. There's a vent there. Can I get in? I can. Good. A little bit of an awkward climb. It would have been impossible without new mantle. The game read me to say use make sure new mantle is on. What's that done? Oh, I think that's the fireplace uh, grill. Retracting. All right. There's nothing else apart from there. Doesn't look like it, but I can't really see very well. I should have drawn the blinds in the room, right? Well, okay, so... Maybe I should douse the lights... Just in case enemies start turning up, you know? I mean, some darkish corners to... to hide in would be... would be... could be useful. Yes, that was the fireplace grill. Chimney grill, I suppose. Ow. 
Aha. So that, let's just get up here. Does this lock will I guess unlock this grill? Thought I heard somebody whistling. No, I think it was sound from outside my house rather than outside Garrett's ears. Uh, that looks uh, unhealthy to drop down into. It's not. This guy really likes his vents, Malazar. Exteriors, more statues and plants. Can't get out there because the pipes, okay. That is an ominous red light. Um, I don't know, this looks unhealthy. So I'm going to save before. What happened then? I tried to grab the scepter and the spell made it a laugh. I got teleported to a room and I got teleported to here, right? Michael, I broke the serpent staff during my struggle to bind the Ifrit. Please see that it is repaired before I return. His magic is intact, but it will not function unless it is made whole. While I am in the city, I shall drop in on Zapho and see if he has captured any of the butterflies from your list. Oh, we have a map. I mean, okay. Very nice map, but it doesn't doesn't tell us anything we didn't know. I don't know if that's going to help me about anything, but um will not function. There's an ifrit. But it's also presumably related to his source of powers. Well, okay, I've got a bow and one arrow. Ah, maybe I have an infinite supply of arrows, let's see. Suddenly plenty. 51 arrows ought to be enough for anybody. And I could turn the lights off, make it easier to see. So I have not. Um, well, let's see, uh, you moved, you moved, you moved when I was not looking, I see, okay, I'm stuck. Um, hmm. There's a door. This is going to be awkward. This is going to be a problem. Knows I'm here. 
Um, may have lost me now, I don't know. Wait and see if it turns up, but I don't want to go stand in that corner. On the other hand, this seems like a dead end. Oh, look at the gold snake's head. That does something, okay. Maybe that's part of the old oh, serpent stuff, of course. So magic is intact. I wonder if that will deal with this statue friend of ours who is roaming a little more than statues or I mean magic. Ah, they gave up and went back. That's a relief. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I got too close, they heard me. They make noise, I was listening to the noise. Alright, we need to go hide in the dark. Break line of sight again and let them calm down. I, I seem to be kind of stuck, so I'm going to have to look for more levers or something. It doesn't seem to be any way to open this. And... I like lava falls. Lava falls are always good. There is a corpse there too. Keep looking behind me to see the statues like crept up behind me because they're silent. They're uh They're creepy. Crossing entirely the purple point. And they don't make noise, they do make noise when they open the doors. Alright, so... You may have heard that. I wonder if enough arrows will uh, demolish a statue. Doubtless, right? They're made of stone. Did they hear that step on the tile? No. The other question is, what do I do now? There doesn't seem to be anything in this passageway. So I seem to have a locked grate here, a locked grate by, right beside the statue. Although there might be a lever or something, maybe, maybe lure the statue down this passageway. I'll make use of this, uh... Did that respond before? Or after? I came in here. Is it going where I want it to? Oh my god, this is... This is oh, it's going back. Decided there's nothing to see there. <laughs> Inconvenient. Very careful here because it's the top floor.
Do I have a way to open this? Oh, hello. The lock is old and rusted through. Wouldn't take much damage to break it. Let's see if we can get out the window. Okay. I think I have a way to escape. Goodbye, statue. Creepy statue. I'm sure I'm not going to meet any more like you, am I? Ever. <laughs> kind of suspected I'm here. Alright. Well, there's definitely more in that hallway. Oh, that looks problematic. This is a very narrow ledge. It just makes me nervous. Definitely more places next to the hallway, but probably not ones I can get to right now. We have an open window into an attic space there. Electric lever. We have a magical door of some kind there. I can obviously drop down onto the flower bed. That's. I'm just wondering if is this one of the ones where the vines are climbable. Let's uh, find out. Oh no. Okay. That hurt quite a bit, but it didn't kill me, so I guess I'm just gonna live with that. Oh right, that's where we were before, behind those pipes. There is a another part of the seven stuff, maybe. What I don't know is if this mission has any healing whatsoever in it and whether I should reload avoid that fall damage because that was because I'm playing on expert that was a good significant part of my uh, allowed damage you don't even want me to pick anything up in this mission I feel like this is also going to hurt no Alright. What did that achieve? I suppose that lamp is... Can I come up there? Feels like it should be possible, right? There we are. The lamp is no longer electrified, but I don't know if that matters. I do need to be careful of noise, obviously, because of the statues. <laughs> Just don't know where they are all, all the time. But... Oh, golden mushrooms. That's unusual. But, you know, that's the kind of magic that uh, I approve of. Magic loot. As long as it's valuable. Batch 37. Some signs of infusion with the elemental energy, but nothing visible beyond the trace aura. Match 38. Oversaturated with negative plane energy. Quite poisonous to both body and soul. Batch 39. Successful infusion of elemental energy and replication of bioluminescence. Batch 40. Successful application of alchemical principles to the mixture. I have grown solid gold mushrooms. For the next batch, I shall attempt to extract the essence of supernatural growth from the magic beans I acquired last month. With any luck, I can grow solid gold mushrooms to ten times the size in a fraction of the time. Well, uh, I guess this is his way of funding his experiments. Selling solid gold mushrooms to the restaurants that serve solid gold food. That you know, makes sense. Right, we have more, I'm going to say, normal, you know, indoor spaces. Not sure any of this is normal. We have a way down here, but it would be a one-way trip. So for now, I guess... Just need statues. Look at this! Ladders that you can mount and dismount. Good ladders. Yes. Don't see any more statues, he says. As one... Leaps into his face. My god. Okay, um... 
I don't have a plan here. I see something over there under the fern. I mean, I can climb the ladder, right? I don't need to be particularly worried about this one. Don't get me when I'm up on the ladder. So maybe I'll just leave and wait until they calm down. It's a little tedious. But you know, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, I could just ignore that statue and head, up, head down that way. That's possible. I can't see them. This is the problem. I think they'll have forgotten about me by now, but... I guess they can probably see as well as here. Oh, they're just standing there. They're definitely here, I don't know, I assume they can see as well. Let's leave it open just to remind myself I've been there. Let's try going this way then. I got a door open. Okay. Did they just go out the door here? No, they did not. They're still hunting. Alright. So I'm guessing that door there just connects with where that statue is. It's an easily testable hypothesis. I'm not sure if it's easily testable from a position of safety. Okay. So, good news is I have a good escape route from the statue. I don't need it. Oh, there's a, there's a vine. Okay, so I can climb back up there. Good, so this was not a one way trip. That's fine, that's good. What is through this door? Heads mounted on walls. Enormous hanging spider. This place is creepy. I don't like this room at all. I do not like this room at all. Fish. Wait, the maybe's all harmless? Hope it's all harmless. Have advice for something. Now to barracks. Oof. Does it make it more or less creepy? I'm not sure. It makes it safer. Where's this door go? Bedroom. Are there any statues in the bedroom? No, why is it a shower cubicle and everything? Not a flush toilet, but it is a, a one water arrow, okay? I'll, I'll do water arrows. That's, that's twice as good as one. Be careful about when I use them. But I guess things like the fire was useful, but not entirely necessary. What's this? The master left. He has gone into the city and left me with a spell to decipher. I have examined it from every conceivable angle. 
but I can see no way to proceed without the power crystal atop the tower. Malazar warned of dangers throughout the tower, but he did not explicitly prohibit the crystal's use. Clearly this is a test. Why else would he have dismantled the golem? The limbs he has scattered about the tower. But the head is bound to the ifrit in the fire chamber. A daunting prospect, even with the master's supervision. Okay. Golem. Golem limbs and head in the fire chamber. Save so my notes get saved. That's a uh, fun place to hang your hat. Lots of glue. Okay, I guess we can use that to glue together the golem. Golem glue. This place is less creepy with the lights off because I can't see anything. In particular, I can't see the spider. I'm gonna have to go back the other way through the um the room where the little conservatory where the statue was, but doesn't have to be right now. Well healing potion, oh very nice. Let's use it. And healing potions are not very potent on this difficulty level, which should be just enough to get me to full. don't think it does more than that, so I don't think anything's wasted. I see a shadow and think it's a figure. No, it's just a, I think it's just, just a doorway. I'm not going to trust any statues now, ever again. Staff end. Okay, so we have snake's head and staff end. And maybe we can put them together in the vice. Or is there a door that does not open? Oh, hello there. I knew I, I knew I should have been suspicious. I knew I was right to be suspicious. Oh, no. Wrong action. I think they're going to have seen us and start looking, and I don't want them to come into this room, but if they do come into this room, I want to be in the darkness. Thank you very much. Golem diagram. Ah, yes. This is exactly how a golem works. Okay, we've got the heads. We've got the... Quartz limb and the star limb, and we've got the star walk limb. <laughs> I guess the port wall walk limb it doesn't say a golem. Uh, the any. Uh, can't quite rusty, rusty, rusty. I suppose it probably doesn't matter, right? Probably this text doesn't matter. Probably it's just here for flavour. Um, let's see. Golem. So that's M, not D, because sometimes that's confusing. Yeah, there's a D. Sometimes those are the other way around. That's a K. Servenim. Servenimor. Cacquil. It doesn't actually look like it says anything comprehensible to me. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it's just flavor text. And it's possibly even complete gibberish, but it might be uh, Clue Wars. Yup. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. All right. So we know how to assemble a column now. So in, importantly, there's limbs. I mean, there's colors on that, right? I guess that's going to be relevant. Red, green, blue, white, and black. It does seem like our stony friend out there is not coming in here. A65 out of 3200 that we need. Oh, they are moving about, though. We have another grate here that I cannot open. Oh, hello. We need something. Maybe we need to light that torch to open this grate. It's a broken sword. God, the breathing sound is freaky. Hello, I recognize you. I know where I am and I know my way out. Let's see if there is, there is another crystal there. Is there anything up here? And uh, it doesn't appear to be. Okay. So now I am officially kind of going in circles, I suppose. I guess I can climb further down. Maybe they do only react to sound? It's like, they totally should see me, right? Oh yeah, they did see. Fine. Okay, so we can get down to ground level here, but that is a moment trip. Oh, I've been down to ground level there. So I can get all the way around, okay. Much noise, Garrett. So that's what's his name's bedroom. Should not lead anywhere. And this was a stairway. This just, this, just, this just led me downstairs back, right? Down to that courtyard. Wow. Right, I, I looked under here already. Here's the going out, okay. So I'm very lost. Well, it's not one way, we can climb up here. And get on the vine. Okay. So what I don't know is, I guess, I guess, try my thought device, right? See if we can use the bits of the stuff in the vice to glue it back together or something. We've got, got two pieces of the stuff, oh hello. It's not the way, you know, how you should use the workbench, but, uh... Good, good, good. And if I just put the snake's head, it's not enough. I need to use the glue. Oh, that's the bottom end, of course. Alright. Now we have the Serpent Star. Whose magic is... It's magic of some kind, but what kind? I don't know. And because we can't pick up readables, oh, we've got a bag of magic beans. I thought that was, I thought that was loot. Okay, that's magic beans. So the magic beans will grow, right? This, 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 
Jack of the Beanstalk magic beans. We plant them somewhere, they will grow somewhere. Presumably giving us access somewhere we couldn't reach. Otherwise, wow, it's so dark in here. Okay, so we have a serpent staff. I don't know what it's any good for. Since we can't keep the readables, let's see if it does anything against the statue. Probably won't, right? No. So they're going to be kind of upset at me being here, but that's okay. Well, we could plant magic beans here, I suppose. Which would let me get back up the top to where I came from. Well, I mean... It did grow. Tiny a little bit. Not sure that's any good to anybody. Can't plant any more. Oh, maybe I need to water them. Plants need water, right? Before I wait, risk wasting that, let's make a save, because if this doesn't work. All right, it did. Okay, we can climb up it. And get back to where we came from. That seems... Extreme... Oh, hello, I see some loot. Maybe that's why it's useful. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't let me get any bit anywhere new, so I'm still stuck in the same loop. As far as I can tell. I wonder if there's a place to plant beans in here. I don't see anything that looks like it. The statue's moving around. All right. I guess. I guess. Wait, this is where I came in here, right? But uh, maybe the magic beans will give us. Okay, there. Just for hearing it through here. Close it so I don't get creeped out by random door noises. Cool. I guess maybe there is another place we could grow beans here. At least it's worth investigating. Oh. Ow! <sighs> here I was trying to climb the statue. And nope. Fell to my, uh, not quite death. Well, I guess we're back. Health wise, we're back where we were. Alright. We have a serpent staff now. Will that open doors? Dispel magic fields? No, it will not. Alright. So, I think I'm very much not. Is that the other floor? I think I just completely overlooked it. Metal gear, okay. We were in the vent, was it? That gave us access to the Metal Gear lock. Where... How can we get back there? Through that window? I 
guess the idea is that with the uh, power off, you can stand on that light to jump back to this ledge. And if it was still arcing, it would be dangerous. That's right, there's a statue in the here. I could turn off that lamp if I wanted to, but... Wait, this is no good. This is no good. I love to still shut. No, this is not this isn't where I wanted to be. Wait, the vents. I was in the vents with access to the Metal Gear before I got teleported into this zone, right? So... Dang. So I'm still kind of stuck. Still quite stuck. Stuck and now I have a greasy statue chasing me. Just gone back to its starting point. Do I feel safe with more broadhead arrows? Not really, but it's something I can do. <laughs> uh, I don't need to worry about running out of them. I could waste a water arrow here, but I think that would be a terrible idea. I feel like... Well, I mean, I feel like it would be a waste, right? God, this getting out this window. With that thing there is the most terrifying thing in the world. hear them from out here. All right. What now? Yeah. All right, I didn't take any damage. That's fine. I was, prepared, I was prepared to reload that because I tried to jump over to the lamp and jumped way not far enough. Uh, what now? I can't get back in those vents, right? I can kind of sort of Slightly get near them. I can look back into the starting room, but I can't get in there. It's a room I have not. Oh, hello. There is a scroll there I can just barely see. Michael, I trust you to manage the place while I am away. Good luck with the spell I have set you. Be careful if you have need to venture into one of the more dangerous rooms. And do try not to rile up the statues. Should you need it, the library key is in the woodpile. Malazar. Okay, so... I mean, I feel like I should have been able to read that before I came all the way here, but I found the library key. I learnt about statues. Um, so I think that's all good. Where the hell do I go now? Like... Well, I've, I've got a good Metal Gear, which I can't use because I can't get to the vents back into the ducts, where it would be of use. I have the Serpent Staff that does nothing. I have Magic Beans, but they didn't give me... They feel like they should be giving me access to somewhere new instead. They just gave me some access to some loot, right? 
I suppose I can go back and see... go back and see if maybe the uh, magic bean store actually lets me get anywhere I haven't been somehow maybe I can grow it again where is it there uh, okay so I've made a save so let's just see if it grows any taller or if this is just a waste. Okay, that's just a waste. Let's reload that. So, I mean, the magic beans just literally let me get to that statue, right? In the window, nothing else. Don't seem to have been useful for progression in any way, shape, or form. So I'm still completely at a loss as to where to go. The door here that would be very nice if it opened, but it does not. Unless the Serpent Staff can open it. I have no idea what the Serpent Staff does, but... I would like to read the, the message where we, uh... Learned about it before, but... At least that was in the other area. It's not a hidden lever. I think this is possibly a hidden door right but I can't tell. Oh there's loot up there, let's get that. That's uh something at least. Why would anybody leave coins out here? Okay, so there's a note I was just reading. From the other side. There's a lot more bits of paper and stuff, but I feel like this door not even being probable suggests we can't ever get in there. So now I can go upstairs past the statue again. Hello. Does that... I mean, that's blue, right? Does that need... Serpent Staff, maybe? Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a readable on the floor. Serpent passage. Right, so this is what I was missing. Alright, in we go. Don't follow me. It does... F they do feel inconsistent. Like, sometimes they seem to see me, sometimes they seem to hear me. I mean, I'm not gonna be- I'm not gonna be complaining too much if they don't follow me. But, their unpredictability makes them even more... ...concerning. Don't like these pools of light. Just in pitch darkness. And I'm sure this place is... Perfectly linear, not teleporting me around or anything, right? Alright, well, uh, another room that looks perfectly ordinary. So we could jump down there, in theory, and maybe not die. There's a floating ring that looks like it's also got some kind of magical trap on it, right? horns. So it's this doorway. Locked. And it's not the library. I guess we're going down then. Is there anything 
And then, uh, there's definitely an up as well. That's interesting. Ah! Whoops. That is why I saved. So to read the spelling. Okay. I guess that will dispel magical fields. I wonder if it's multiple use or if we're gonna use it once. We can, uh, we can open that. Oh! <laughs> I see. We fell all the way up. <laughs> That's nice. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, hello. I see you. I know where you are. I know. I know who you are. Um, that probably is the other side of the same door, right? We got a statue for him there for a minute. Okay, it dispels fields. Alright, so when our statue friend there has calmed down, we will have a way forward. If we are out of their sight here, out of their hearing, they should calm down sooner. Oh. And that brings us back here so that we can uh, jump down again if we want to, I suppose. Or go back the way we came. It's very smooth. Very smooth, the illusion there. Alright, they're still suspicious. This is a problem for me. Because we need to get out there, right? Right. Yeah. Which is surprisingly difficult to do. is an extremely awkward climb. I do not like it. Alright, we don't take damage on this drop. Good. Alright, so now we can get through here. So these are actually semi-transparent, or the other one was. This one doesn't appear to be. Let's... Let's dispel, shall we? Ah, it's the wall. That's why it's not transparent. Loot! Loot is good. 1400. Aha, uh -huh. we can get in this room. This is the scrolls room. Yeah, that we were seeing from outside. So that's the one we just read, right? About managing the place, not rallying up the statues, blah blah. I use that as readable. Okay, this door does open. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. None of these are readable. Where does this take? God, this place is uh, inscrutable. Is right. It is, it is extremely. Resistance to scrutiny. Michael, the fire chamber must be considered off limits until I return. The Ifrit I have bound using the golem's head is exceptionally powerful and none too pleased about being tethered to this plane. It is beyond your skill to weave protective sp to weave protective spells at the requisite strength, and I fear it would incinerate you, Malazar. But there is an invisibility potion. I think I've seen this chamber on the other side. You know what I'm going to do here? Um, I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger. And 
come back here for the next episode. So, um, thanks for, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.